Scrappy peeps, Susanna here today to share with you another layout for Spiegel Mom Scraps. I um, am continuing with the theme of flowers and recycled product and I used two sequence mixes to create this particular layout. I used uh, Baby Butterfly which has the pinks in it, those two right there, and Vintage Spring which has the mint greens in it. So I had this digital cut file that I used my Silhouette Cameo for and then I backed that with some vellum. And I'm going to put that wreath on um, a piece of pattern paper from AC Moore, and it's Nicole Band, I think is what it's called. So I'm just going to put some adhesive on that and use that as my primary background. Um, I wanted the vellum, and you can see there's a little leaf there that is painted green. My original intent had been to just watercolor paint each of the the leaves um, but I didn't like the look of it I was looking for more of a stained glass look and I didn't get that so I abandoned that and I knew I intentionally put that green there knowing that the photo was going to go at the bottom right um, and I wanted to cover that up so I just have I pulled things that were in a mint green um, and that pink color as well as things that had sort of a bit of gray to them in order to match the colors that are in my daughter's dress that she was wearing there. Um, I love that pocket card from Coco Daisy. I couldn't use it at the time that I was needing to use the kit but I saved it knowing that it was going to come in handy for something and I'm literally just using scraps you can see that and or the pocket cards um, to layer up this photo and uh, that particular piece right there is a piece of packaging from uh, Maggie Holmes. Um, I'm sure mo many of you recognize it. I think I've seen one of the other designers use that as her packaging as well for Spiegel Mom Scraps this month. And I just wanted to layer up the pinks uh, and that, that lovely mint green to just create uh, some fun layers behind the photo. Uh, I wanted a balance of the pinks and the greens and I felt that uh, it really popped the picture by, by doing that. And you see that tag right there. Originally that was just going to be a, another photo layer, but it came down too long and I could have easily have trimmed that. But I also really wanted to do some journaling for this particular layout and um, I, realized that I wasn't going to have much room for journaling and so I will get out a uh, you can see I got my double-sided adhesive there and my original intent with the double-sided adhesive was to create a pocket for that tag to slide in and out of but I've learned over the years that while that works really nicely um, if you just have a flat piece or just a flat photo, when you've got all these layers, it sometimes gets caught, especially when you're putting that photo right on top of a digital die cut like I have there that's very intricate. The uh, tag tends to rip the layers behind. So I decided a glassine bag would be perfect um, to just nestle that and you cannot see the glassine bag, but it provides a nice little spot to nestle that tag there. So I have fussy cut some flowers from a previous layout that I worked on and I had a few left over. And again, this is one canoe too. Uh, so I just use those uh, leftover flowers, which is recycling in a way too, right? Um, and I love the way that those flowers work perfectly with that rose uh, from the Coco Daisy pocket kit. I thought maybe that butterfly, if I fussy cut it, might look fun, um, but the butterfly is so big that it ended up being, in my mind, uh, disproportional to the photo of my daughter and wasn't going to work on the layout. These are some tags from Maggie Holmes, and I just wanted to, um, again, find the, the mint color and those pinks that I could nestle into places, maybe put the date um, and a couple of other uh, little bits and pieces of info because I knew again that the journaling was going to go on that tag behind the photo. So this is one of those little word tags and again there's I try and find things of purpose and when I place them while they may have a purpose I also want them to fit proportionally on the layout. A lot of this layout I like to have visual triangles but a lot of this layout um, there's so much on here that there is no visual triangle really. Um, 
in a way you could see the visual triangle as being the three flowers, the two that are the same over to that pocket card, but that doesn't draw your eye to the title. So um, it just kind of is the way that it is and I'm okay with that. I had pulled this knowing that I wanted that to be the title. I love that gold lettering in there and the way that it also adds some shimmer to the layout and ties in the other little bits and pieces of gold that I'm going to put throughout the layout. Um, we all know how thickers don't like to stick on pages when you're storing them in albums that are stored horizontally. So, uh, vertically, sorry. <laughs> so I am going to use some Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive to glue that down um, and adhere it. And what I don't show you in this video is I really liked The Life is Lovely as the title, but I really like to make my titles a little bit more original. And so I went in later with some Ellie Studio letters and uh, some of the puffy letters, the new puffy letters from Pink Fresh Studio. And underneath that, I put, and so are you. So the title ends up in, in its entirety being, life is lovely and so are you. And I thought that that was a, a, a nice way of personalizing that title a little bit more. And you'll see that in the um, close-ups. And now it's time for the Spiegel Mom scrap sequence. So uh, again, I knew that the color palette that I wanted to work with were the pinks and the greens. And while there is pink in the vintage spring mix, I wanted a little bit more pink than that, uh, which is why I pulled out the the butter, baby butterfly, and I'm just going to sprinkle them on the layout. Uh, no particular rhyme or reason to it, just a, a little bit of decoration to the border of the layout, sort of more across the edges. And in many ways, because of the title being to the left and the photo kind of being more to the bottom right, I do have the sequence moving from the top left through the title through the picture over to the bottom right there. Um, once I've placed them all, I'm going to speed up my filming as I use my uh, Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive to adhere those. What I do is I use the tip of the fine tip bottle to pick them up, put the adhesive, and then uh, put them back down with, uh, just plop them into the glue and the glue kind of grabs them. And that's how I always put my sequins down and have no problems with them coming off the pages. So this is my final layout for Spiegel Mom Scraps. I can't believe it's been a year with Spiegel Mom Scraps. It's been a fantastic year. I hope you've all been inspired by my Spiegel Mom Scraps layouts. And um, I have enjoyed all of this time with you and with Jody and the other gals. It's been a great team to work with. I hope you are doing well. There are a couple of close-ups to follow. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the box below and do come back and join us for International Scrapbook Day because we do have some things planned over at Spiegel Mom Scraps and lots of great challenges and prizes. Thanks for stopping in today. Hope you're doing well. Take care.